of radiations, such as these three radiations, from the nucleus of an unstable. All right, sorry for the technical fallout. Um, now, I said the emission of these radiations, such as alpha, beta, and gamma radiations, is what we refer to as radio um, radioactivity. So the type of um, radiations emitted by the unstable nucleus of those atoms that are radioactive are of these three rays. Now, let me quickly describe them without wasting time. Now, the alpha ray is having a helium nucleus. It is positively charged, yes. It is positively charged. It has an helium nucleus. So when we represent alpha ray, we just use helium atom. Um, it is positively charged. It is highly ionizable. It can be deflated by an electric field. If you have a pen, you can be writing. It can be deflated by an electric field. It travels few centimeters in air. So it, it, it travels pole in air. Very few centimeters in air. Also, also, it um, it um, I said it is ionizable already. Um, it travels few centimeters in air, and it can be stopped by a thin sheet of paper. So, if alpha ray is passing through a material, or if alpha ray is passing through a an environment, and a thin sheet of paper is placed in front of the alpha radiation, it will just be stopped immediately. So, alpha ray. They, they, they don't travel very fine and they can be stopped by a thin sheet of paper. Now, and um, alpha ray can glow. So, if alpha ray is passing through this environment, you may not observe it. So, there's, there's, there's some, so, there are some substances that cause them to fluorescence. So, fluorescence and phosphorescence are aspect of um, um the aspect of um, of um, electroanalytical chemistry. So, it's, it's a concept there. So, they, they will fluorescence or glow. Let me use the word alpha ray fluorescence or glow in the presence of zinc sulfide. Yes, alpha ray will, will glow in the presence of zinc sulfide. So fluorescence in the presence of zinc sulfide. What about beta rays on the other hand? What about beta rays on the other hand? Beta rays on the other hand. Beta rays on the other hand are negatively charged. So we represent them with electrons. Yes, some people also call them negatrons. Yes, we represent them with electrons. So beta rays, they are negatively charged and they are also highly ionizable. They travel, they travel in long centimeters in air. They travel faster than alpha rays because they are lighter. So these rays are more like massless. You see the mass. This is the mass number. So 